Hello and welcome back. This is Braymar, and we're going to be playing more Conflict of Nations World War III. In today's lesson, we're going to be explaining opening strategies that I think will help you win your first few fights. I'm going to be playing through the opening hour to show you how I open a game. First things first, pick a game mode. I'm going to go with Battleground America because it has open slots and it's on day one. Now, pick a country. Personally, I've never gotten a mega country, but I'm sure this makes the game a little bit easier, but it won't win you the game. Remember the power of the pen. I'm actually going to go with something either south or north because it's so much easier to control where you get attacked from. Now we're going with Yucatan because I believe it has some smaller nations around it and some larger nations around that we can create coalitions with. Now I'm just going to go ahead and start this game off by swinging at these you want to immediately throw these soldiers out to attack these locations. And the only reason why we're prioritizing doing this is because we don't have any natural enemies that border us. Most of the time you will. First things first, immediately after I do that, I start every game, no matter what, by sending out texts and messages and coalition applications. And if there are no coalitions built in your area, ask around if people want to join up and create a new one, like so. First, look for coalitions. We have Tyler and the Northern Pact. We see nobody. We're going to create a coalition. We will name it the Deep. Hello, the Deep South. We're going to capitalize South just to be nice. We will select a flag and we will create coalition. We will immediately go into messages and we will talk to our closest allies. Uh, I think the closest ones are Mexico. And Yucatan, if actually we're not Yucatan, I take that back. We'll, we'll be talking to Ni Nicaragua, uh, Mexico, uh, Nuevo. I'm not even going to try to try that. We'll try Texas and we will try Cuba. We will send out messages to all of them to ask them if they want to join us. Okay, as you can see here, Nuevo has not been taken. So they actually might be a great target to attack first if no one picks them up. Now, only basic users have picked up Nicaragua and Mexico, if I can ever find them again. Uh, you do want to typically text people who have names because they've been playing for a little while. So now that we have the message part out of the way, which I feel like is one of the most important parts, creating coalition, uh, we will be going into opening research and building construction. First, let's start off with the 30 minute constructions that are available to us. We will start with basic infantry. Now I will also always go air superiority units. Now, the only time I won't prioritize air superior unit units if you're on the coast, like we currently are, and or we'll be fighting coastal battles. If so, then obviously go Corvettes. Get boats in the water. GG. If you're going to be running out of rare research material at this point, you can save up for what you think is important, like helicopters, if you have good air bases and control, like from enemy city captures or airports built on providences, or you can go armored units to build that mega stack. It all depends on your allies, enemies, and play preferences. We, of course, will be going Corvettes because we are in the water. Now, that's just quick opening research. We still have to talk about buildings, units, and tactics. First, pick what cities will be making your basic infantry. Click those cities and build an army base first. Those will finish quickly. You come into here to construct. Click army base. It'll give you a little morale boost. Won't take very long. Get this done. One minute and 38 seconds. Good Lord. Now I'm going to kind of prioritize putting army bases in cities that are not on the coast. On the coast, since we have Navy bases and computer chips, this is perfect. I'm going to tell you to prioritize arms industries. Why? Because you need arm industries to create boats. Most of the time, you're actually going to have to create an arms industry in your capital, so you can also build air superiority units. We will go ahead and do that when this is available, because it's important to have either way. Okay, now that our large timer stuff is already on the way, it's time to spam basic infantry. This is helpful early game. Start a unit in every available location. Most other buildings will still be working, like navies and arm industries, so just do basic infantry for now, and then build corvettes and planes on round two. Click on a city that has an army base, mobilization, and now build basic infantry. Here in our city, we're not only just going to construct a arms industry, 
we are also going to mobilize a unit. Now let's move some units. Most other people will be doing the exact same as this at this point, so let's pick an easy target. Now currently, since we have no natural enemies on either side of us, we have easy targets available. We will take our units and we will bring them down to attack and then waypoint arounds. We can also split these units off to maximize our area being taken. FYI, for anyone who has borders around you, attacking early game makes you an easy target because you leave yourself wide open for other attacks. Most people choose to take this early game to build up units and turtle and build up research. This is a viable option and you want to keep your options open. If you see an opportunity, take it. I stage two or three major attacks and then put your bird in the air and then march in positions. Don't get too close because you will show up on their borders on their screen if you get close enough as like a radar blip and they will see you coming. Stage everything, place orders, and you can even waypoint some people to take land while your main forces strike the city. Now, best case scenario, you have allies, but sometimes you're alone. Don't take on a coalition early unless you're confident. You should have units being fielded to prepare for a counterattack or a sneak attack, so don't fret. The last few closing comments and suggestions I have is if your capital is on the coast, move it when you have the chance. I know early game you need money for the stock market and manpower for units. But when you have a surplus, get it done. Also, if you're using the mobile device and it's still early enough, look to see who's actually a player and what countries are not yet taken. Those are going to be your targets. Also, also, if you see one city miners just sitting there, send a two stack to take care of them. We are going to take this entire land from all these people, hopefully before anybody gets the chance to. If you see any of these cities available, just take it. Easy money. Well, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and have a great day.